There's a Charleston frog by the name of Benny. Now, Benny was an unusual frog. He talked. You've probably met the talking frogs before, anybody? If you notice earlier, Tim talked about a wide mouth frog. That's a different race of frogs. Benny was a different type of frog, the frog that desired to be different from other frogs. Benny used to go to his special lily pad and look up into the sky and look at that special star and cry out every night, I want to be different. Please make me different. I don't want to be like them because I'm a special frog. Make me more special. Make me different. One day as he cried out, all of a sudden, whoop, his fairy frog mother appeared. She stood and looked at him, and he looked at her because he had never seen a fairy frog mother before, and I believe many of you have not either. And he looked at her, and she looked at him, and she said, Ooh, Benny, you want to be different? Tell me, what can I do to make you different? Well, Benny thought about that because no one's ever supposed to answer the question, but they did. So Benny thought about it and thought about it and goes, I know, give me hair. If you give me hair, I'll be different from other frogs because frogs don't have hair. She looked at him, rolled her eyes, and whoop, a cloud of smoke, and he had this long, flowing, beautiful hair going off the top of his head. Well, that's there, and he said, Fairy Frog Mother, thank you, but could you put it somewhere else? She rolls her eyes, looks at him, whoop, a cloud of smoke, and as it clears, he has it growing down his back. Now, as many of you men know, that's really not very attractive to girl frogs. And many of you ladies know that's not very attractive to guy frogs either. He had this hair growing down his back, and he says, Fairy Frog Mother, I don't want to be ungrateful, but could you put it somewhere else? She rolls her eyes, looks at him, whoop, cloud of smoke, and he has this long, beautiful beard. And he looks in, so he just couldn't take anymore, so he shaves it off. Oh, he just feels so relieved, and he's into the water and sees his reflection, and and notices how unique he looks. And he realized at that moment that anybody with a beard is considered very wise and very handsome. <laughs> and he's getting ready to hop off. The fairy frog mother goes, Whoa, Benny, there's a curse with this. If you ever remove that hair from your face, a great warning comes to all the frog community. I'll turn you into a large urn full of flowers by the side of the pond as a warning to others. Don't mess with the fairy frog mother. Well, of course, yeah, curse, fairy frog, yeah, that'll work. And he bounces off, and he's bouncing a lily pad to lily pad, and, of course, all the little girl frogs were going, Ooh, Penny, are you handsome and wise? And, of course, he admitted to it as being true. And, of course, he married the local girl, and they had little tadpoles, and life was really good for them. But after a while, everyone got used to Benny with the beard. He looked okay, and he wasn't any wiser than before, and the mystique wore off. And he was getting tired of it because his beard continued to grow, get a little wet, and it'd fall into the water because it was so heavy. Those of us with beards know that feeling. And it was, it was just uncomfortable for him, so he just couldn't take any more, so he shaves it off. Oh, he just feels so relieved, and he's back to the way he was before. He didn't want to be that unique anymore. Then all of a sudden, whoo, a cloud of smoke and great thunder, and the fairy frog mother appears and goes, Benny, I warned you, whoo! When all the smoke cleared, there was a large urn full of flowers by the side of the pond. Fear went out through the frog community, as fear has a tendency to do. And, this, it, was, and it went throughout Charleston. Even many people in Charleston know it today, that if you ever hear this story, you will know that a Benny shaved is a Benny earned. And the congregation went... Oh.